What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas talking to you guys today about something for those of you that you might want to know that, that are going to be traveling to Vegas. Now if you're especially someone who's you know a first timer traveling to Vegas and uh, never been here before you may want to know this about you know certain times you're going to come travel. If you've been here a lot you probably know about this. You know it's going to be one of the busiest times of year to come to Las Vegas which are also the most expensive times a year to come to Las Vegas on a vacation or you know just for with the family business trip conference convention whatever the case may be uh, these are some of the times I'm going to tell you are the busiest times of year to come to Las Vegas and because they're so busy and because you know obviously so many people here in town they're also the most expensive right these are the times of year that are going to cost you the most money to be here in town so this is when you know flights are probably going to be the most expensive this is probably when room prices are going to be the highest you know all that kind of stuff just because of the demand on the area at the time so i'm going to go through really five times with you guys that like are guaranteed just like clockwork year after year after year these are guaranteed to be pretty hectic here in town i did do a video similar to this uh, a few years ago about like the best time to visit las vegas i will link up here somewhere where i was you know um, i was, it was a longer video and uh, i'm gonna go a little bit deeper on some of this here i'm just gonna focus right now on the busier times or you know also the more expensive times to come to vegas so of the five times I mentioned that I'm going to bring up, two of them are not holidays, though they're practically holidays, and three of them are holidays. So the first one I'll we'll start off is going to be the Super Bowl. So, you know, in beginning of February every year, we have the Super Bowl, right? That's, you know, professional football or American football for those of you that are overseas. Uh, that is, you know, the championship game at the end of the season for the final two teams to play to see who's going to be the champion for that season. That is a huge event here in Las Vegas. Uh, obviously, because of so much sports betting that takes place, this is the sports betting capital of the world, essentially. So tons of people come to town. Uh, they want to place their bets on the game. Uh, you know, tons of places are showing it. There's, you know, viewing parties at the casinos, hotels, um, you know, clubs, lounges, bars, all over town. They have viewing parties. So it is absolutely massive. It's a very fun time of year uh, to be here. So, you know, if you're any, even if you're not a huge sports fan, it's a great crowd to come here. You know, it's a good time to be here. I think you'd probably even come with the family if you'd like. I wouldn't say the crowd is too rowdy or anything like that. Uh, the next one is another sports one, and this happens the following month in March, and that is the opening weekend of March Madness. That is college basketball's final tournament to see who's going to be the champion of that basketball season and that is huge again because of the sports betting so a lot of people come to town they've got you know all their brackets made right all their brackets made and you know they're ready to uh, place their bets and hope they win all kinds of money and that kind of thing and same thing as the super bowl viewing parties all over town a big sports crowd a lot of fun a great environment uh, you know for that event i mean each of those super bowl and march madness bring hundreds of thousands of people here to town and all kinds of you know money over well over 100 million dollars is bet you know each year pretty much on those each of those two events so the first holiday one i'm going to get into this is the next one is going to be a memorial day weekend so this is the end of may and this pretty much this is big it's a three-day weekend and it pretty much kicks off the summertime for the pools the day clubs and things like that so this is when they start to have their busy season memorial day weekend this is right around graduation time so some colleges are already out some of them you know they're going to be finishing pretty soon for graduation so really memorial day weekend kicks off the summertime Anytime you have a three-day weekend, it's going to wind up being big here in Las Vegas. So people have Monday off from work. Some people are also going to take Tuesday off to recover from when they fly back. Other people, they're going to take Friday off and, you know, make it a four-day weekend on the front end. Just extend it that way. So, you know, that's always huge when it comes uh, around every single year, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the next big one, which pretty much marks the end of pool season when that comes is labor day weekend so labor day weekend just like memorial day weekend it's a three-day weekend right people have you know monday off from work they might make you a four-day holiday or four-day weekend oftentimes they take you know, either friday off or tuesday off so they can you know, enjoy the extra day so again big trips like or you know longer weekends like that are going to wind up being big weekends here in las vegas and the last one that is pretty much always crazy every single year and i've been on the strip for this one time uh is new year's eve new year's eve is a big one here in town because right there las vegas boulevard behind me they actually shut it down that's what they do uh you know the uh, county they shut down the strip every police officer in town is working that night you know there's police all up and down the strip there's a huge police presence here um you know that brings a couple hundred thousand people to town too you know even though the weather's cold that time yes vegas does get cold for those of you who don't know it will be cold at night when you're here you know the very end of december right starting into january uh it will get cold it'll be a dry cold and the strip is kind of crazy when you're out there i've done it one time and it was cool to do it's not something i'm really dying to do every single year um that is one event 
that, you know, I was, when I was there, I was really surprised at how many people I saw had kids with them. I mean, I'm talking like even like little kids in strollers. Uh, New Year's Eve, that's not something I would probably bring my kids to, you know, here on the strip, just me personally. That's what I would just say, you know, maybe celebrate in the room, but I would probably not have like my really little kids out here on the strip on New Year's Eve. Again, that's just me. Um, so those are really the big five. Those are the five big ones that every single year you know are gonna be, you know, big events here in Las Vegas. Now there's some others I did not mention that people oftentimes ask about. You know, they say, well, hey, well, what about, you know, this event like CES, the Consumer Electronics Show? You know, what about uh, the rodeo in December, right? That's big for the rodeo. What about SEMA, uh, which is for the auto industry? That's usually um, October, November, you know, in the fall. People say, hey, what about 4th of July? That kind of thing. Those events, the ones that are events, okay, um, you know, like CES, like SEMA show, you know, those are big when they're here in town, but I don't bring those up specifically because, you know, there's always a chance that those could change locations in the future, right? Those are not something, you know, Vegas does not own those events, you know, they have contracts here, so they have them here, same thing with the rodeo, uh, I think they renewed the contract a few years ago to keep it here in Las Vegas because they were thinking about going to Florida, but those are events that, you know, could change locations, you know, at, you know, sometime in the future. The five events I mentioned, Super Bowl, March Madness, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and New Year's Eve, those are not going anywhere, okay? None of those events are going anywhere. None of those holidays are gonna change anytime soon. Other holidays like 4th of July, um, you know, can be big if it's like on a Friday. Some people wind up making it a longer weekend uh, if it's on a Friday, but 4th of July is like on a Wednesday, not that big, you know, here in Las Vegas. Uh, Halloween is one people ask about sometimes. Halloween, same thing, like if it's on a Friday, it could be a big event, you know, people just make it a longer weekend, come here and celebrate. Uh, but if Halloween says during the week, not that big a deal. Other events like, you know, Columbus Day, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, you know, those usually aren't too big for bringing a whole lot of extra people to town. Uh, see St. Patrick's Day, now I wouldn't say that's, you know, really, I mean, people celebrate, of course, you know, they go out and they drink, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, really unique to Las Vegas, you know, by any means. Then other holidays, you know, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, none of those are big here in Las Vegas, so those are not going to be the more expensive times to come here. Uh, the other time it will be expensive to come here, to keep in mind, and this could happen, you know, once or twice throughout the year, just depending on the year, uh, big fight weekends. So if there's a huge boxing fight, UFC fight, something along those lines taking place here in Las Vegas, it is going to be a big event, okay? And a lot of it just depends obviously on who's fighting, you know, how big the hype is surrounding the fight, that kind of thing. So, you know, fight weekends, those are ones you can have a lot of people come to town. I was out in the street, um, you know, walked through hotels and casinos when it was uh, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Fight weekend, if you're, you know, come with the family, that's one I may not want to bring the kids to, you know, the little kids on a fight weekend just because obviously it's a crowd that enjoys, you know, the sport of fighting. So a lot of people drink and a lot of people into the fight, that kind of thing. I feel like there's a little more potential, you know, maybe even a lot more potential just depending, you know, that there may be issues. So I would not bring the kids to that. Uh, but, you know, other events, you know, that are popular here in town, I think, you know, you're okay whether you're coming as a family by yourself or, you know, for a business trip, not a big deal. So those are the most expensive times to come to Vegas. Those are the times you can guarantee Vegas is gonna be busy all those times I just mentioned. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys wanna support me over on Patreon, there's a link down below you can do that. If you guys wanna to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, like over the phone, you can actually do that too. There's a link down there for Clarity. That's the website, clarity.fm slash Jacob Orth. You can go, press the link there. You can schedule a time to chat with me, whether it's for a vacation, whether you know you plan to move here at some point in the future, anything along those lines, you can do that as well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.